I know, I can't help it. I said I tape you. Oh my goodness. Telling stories. I don't know none to tell. I don't know any to tell. Make out. Oh, what it does. It does my eyes, but. Mm hmm. Well, and I will. Um, what? William Robert Wilder was Jack's dad. Mm hmm. We call him Bill. Sure, good. And possibly that person abused the cat in other ways and throwing him off the window, too, because he's injuring her older and had a little fracture of rib. I don't know where that came from, so. What time is it? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Even try to read it. I should have thought. All right, so tell me some stories. So what were you gonna tell me? Uh, oh, we got to Foster one day. Who did? You and Hazel. And, uh, Bragging about what her daddy's had. Mm -hmm. Well, she'd say what hers had. Who I'd was this? What mine had. She'd say what hers. Oh, this girl lived down the street? Yeah. yeah. And finally, she caught me. And I sat there for a minute. And I said, Well, Lord, that ain't nothing. My daddy's got him son. <laughs> Like a hip set, worth a thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you this is the truth. Under the porch of that house we lived in, up there, they was little bugs. That's that, that's that big. Mm -hmm. And they had little holes in the ground. Mm -hmm. And we named them the Boodle B Doodle Bug. And we'd go down there and sit there and holler at them bugs. And we'd say, Doodle Bug, Doodle Bug, your house is on fire. You believe in bugs that come out of them holes? Good grief. Mm -hmm. How old were you then? Probably Young? Seven or so. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. But we did. We did. So do the bug, do the bug, yeah, mm. <laughs> So when did you go to work full time in the mill? Uh, when school was out. Mm. And the funny thing is, I was supposed to work in the spinning room. Well, maybe one evening I'd go in and the spinning room boss would send me to the school room. Mm -hmm. And I just thought of this uh, the other night. And they kept me in between. Mm -hmm. And when the last that I worked, I did the same thing. School room and spinning room. Did you really? It was just like like I was 14 years old. old again. How old were you when you quit? 62. Were you? You worked a long time. 34 years now. Mm -mm. That's a long time. Was it hard work? Well, sometimes. No. A lot about the last four or five, but maybe six years I had an easy job. I mean, it, I should have worked on to 65 because I wasn't doing nothing, <laughs> sitting around. And, uh, oh, you did more than just sit around. You helped a lot of people out. You stayed with a lot of people who were sick. Oh. Yeah, remember you stayed with Christine when she was, or Pete when she was sick, and you know, you took care of a lot of people. Yeah. 
You did. That's true. But Lord, at the last, very last of that meal, a, a company from way off somewhere by you, and they speeded everything up to you. But well, they, they, they never bothered mine. What I was, I was running rayon, making rayon thread. And uh, it didn't bother that, but the others, it was not dead. But uh, I guess I had to quit then, I had to quit. Because uh, somebody told me that they changed that out there where I work. See, they have, it's a small room, and it was, uh, 24 frames in there, uh, 12 frames in there, which would have been 24 sides. And uh, I was out there by myself all the time. Except when the doctor would come in there to, to doctor. Did Aid, did Aid work in the mill? No. Uh, Aid? Did Aid work in the mill? Yes, I am. Yeah. She never worked as long as I did. Essie work in the mill? Who? Did Essie? Did Essie ever work at the mill? I don't, I don't remember. But, Right there, it's the last I got by with everything up there. And it was all over one thing. I, I realized it was actually so. It was kind of, a bunch of them up there went on strike one night. And, and we was going to get a union. And me and this guy that dumped off my yarn, Neither one of us went, went out there. We just kept working. And after that, I could lay out two or three nights a week if I wanted to. Yeah. Did you work, uh, not, you worked night shift, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What time did you go in? Uh, one in 11 of the night and out 7 of the morning. But then, uh, when they worked 10 hours, you went in at 7 of the morning and come out at, I believe it was 6. You go an hour for lunch. But on third shift, I don't think it took a uh, lunch break. I thought they stopped their job at the study room. I, I got the school and they would run that rayon out there and it would run hard in the school room. And they put me, that was the first time I'd ever, you know, just really worked out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they put me on the whole side of the rayon. And I was God, I forgot how many boxes of yarn there on there. And it was wrong about high fault, and then you had to pull it out and thread it up again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, it just... And then, whatever I've done, see, I'm, I might more work where I work out in the old school room. Mm -hmm. Made more than the regular ones out there. But in town, one night he put me on uh, so many boxes on the first side and so many on the other side. And she had a learner. And uh, when morning come, well you, well, you could look 
And it to told how many knots you tied a deer in the night. And she looked and I had been out, you know, very many. Because she was supposed to help me too. She'd have done for And she came over and she said, Oh, you didn't make that the last night. And I said, What? She said, You didn't make that the last night. I said, we, she told them in knots I had that night. And I said, I got five to you. I'm so much made more than you did, I got paid for my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Do you remember learning how to drive and all that kind of stuff? Huh. Do you remember learning how to drive? Hmm. Who taught you how to drive? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I remember. This job, Lord, I've known him all my life. And he was, I don't know what it, really what it was, but he, he went through his meal all the time. And he'd always come down through there and, and come in the spinning room and come down and go across. And one night, the, he come down and I was standing over there putting up the end, what, what they call the end, to hook it back up to the cot. <laughs> he come by and patted me on the shoulder, scared me, I looked around at him and I said, Carl, you scared shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> And he came in that night, and 
to go to work and let the others go on the, the little red light up at the cellar. That little red light come on. And then Frank said clock someone. They told him how much you, how many, whatever he had. And uh, she looked, I looked at me and I said, Lord, where is she? I said, that. I looked at me and see if I was going on her side, but I just went on my side. Turn the clocks, went to work. Junior come down by the and he said, did I tell you to go on age side tonight? I said, yeah, did not tell you I don't want <laughs> I don't want And I said, you know, Andrew. you remember a lot when you were growing up? Do you remember a lot when you were growing up? I remember. It's funny that you can remember things. That's why I think you have to do a lot of things. I mean, after you get old, you can remember it, but you can't remember that. <laughs> But she gave you, did she give you your dime back? Yeah. Did she? Did she give you your dime back? Yeah. Did she? Finally, they was a pair of gloves in the sewing machine drawer. And know, it was one of the fingers. fingers. She was good at hiding that stuff, wasn't she? Okay, Annie. Yeah. No, Oh, oh, man. What are we doing? What are you doing? I'll put sub in the refrigerator. Okay, hon. Right. Thank you. Yes, Stay we gone. are because Mom was telling me that her father, his first wife had a son named Ben and Mom's father Give him his name. Give him his name. Hmm. And her brother Ace, they raised him. Ben and his, ben his wife, and his wife raised Ace. Because hmm. I think, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a, uh, Ace's mother died at childbirth. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the way. Hmm. And then, Ben lived where? In Johnson City, in uh, uh, Alvarado. Is that yeah, in Laredo, baby? When we went down there, now I'm going to tell you how close the people live. You had to walk for miles and miles from one house to the other. I'm not lying to you. I was about nine years old, and we walked from Mommy's mother's house to Ben's house, and it took over a half a day us to walk because there was no roads going. You had to walk huh. through the field. So you went to your mommy's mother's house. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh my gosh, it was a little log cabin house, and I'm on tell <laughs> And they, um, upstairs is where they slept. On the floor with feather beds and straw ticks. There was no beds downstairs. No place to sleep, so you had to go up in the mall and sleep. It's an old log cabin house. I'll never forget it as long as I live. <laughs> oh my! I can just see it sitting by a creek, a little creek running down. That's where they done their washing in this creek. Oh, they didn't have no tubs. No, back in them days, they didn't have any tubs or washing, washing boards or anything else. And they got out. It's down the cove in the creek by George. Uh-huh. And, uh, so and they didn't have no clotheslines, and they uh, grabbed their clothes on uh, briars and things. They put them on briars and things. Really? The creek. Yeah. Now, I didn't know you ever went to her house. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see, I, was, I think I was younger.
older than than nine years old because when a grandpa come to live with us <coughs> and he died, I was nine years old. <coughs> he died in 25. Mm -hmm. So I was nine years old in 25. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he died in 25. Mm -hmm. Down our house. What did he die from? We lived on Top Street. Did you? Uh huh. He, he had uh, three strokes. He had two, and then uh, the second one he had, he, uh, he was bed fast. And uh, Mommy's brother, Uncle Rogue, come up and help Dad move in and everything of the night. And, put him on a pot and things, you know. Dad kept him. Dad was good to him. Every, every payday, Dad would always give him a dime or a quarter. And he stayed with us about, about seven or eight years. Really? Yeah. And then, then your, your grandmother was with uh, Maid. 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 And they just came to live with you because they couldn't take care of themselves anymore. No, they couldn't. No, he he uh, got so they couldn't. Uh, he couldn't take care of himself, and then he had another stroke, and he died. I remember that. I remember going to the graveyard and everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's buried down there, free, but you can't find his grave no more. I guess some. Then uh, people buried them. Back then days, they buried them in uh, um, pine coffins. Mm -hmm. So I guess it all gone now. Yeah, well, I guess if it doesn't have a marker. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. I didn't know that this Ben existed. Yeah. So did he use the last name of Widener? Huh? Did he use the last name yeah, of Widener? Yeah, uh, he kept the last name of Widener. All, all the time. Dad gave him his name. Dad told me, he said, you're a Widener mm -hmm. now. And he uh, said, I've adopted you. And uh, well, I even went down there. Well, I always went to Ben's house. They never did, he never did have any kids. Oh, really? Having his wife? No, but he'd get out and play with us in the yard and everything. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I should really list him as a child of your father, adopted child of your father then. Yeah. I didn't, I, I just don't remember that. Yeah. Hmm. I, I forget what, what his, I think his, her, his wife's name was Sarah. I think it was Sarah. Hmm. <coughs> now what kind of house did they live then? Um. Do you remember? A nice house. Uh -huh. But back in them days, there was no paint. But he had a great big porch, front porch, and had things on it and everything. Hmm. Had a great big house. Was it in the mountains? Huh? Was it in the mountains, too? Yeah. Sitting up on a hill. He, uh... He was he uh, had cows and things, mm -hmm. and he had a dog and he <coughs> that dog every one about time he get the cows in that dog would come and sit by him, and look at him and look after the cow, and uh, he wouldn't move and then say it's time and boy that dog was over that porch and getting them cows and bring them in mm -hmm. to be milk. It's the funniest thing. And people didn't have whales nor nothing then, and they caught the water off the top of the house. <coughs> they called them cisterns. Mm -hmm. They caught all the water off the top of the house. <coughs> Unless they had a spring. No, I, I can remember that little old log house sitting there. And a big old creek are going down the side of it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember what he looked like? Because I don't remember no, what. No, no, I don't. I don't know what he looked like. Because I can't, I got, we got that picture of your mom's mother. 
But I've never seen a, 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 your, your, you know, uh, your grandfather. Uh, Mommy kind of looked like him. Mm -hmm. My grandma was a full-blooded Indian. Mm -hmm. No, her mother was. Yeah, I think she looks it. She does. Uh -huh. And your mom well, did. Mommy wants one of them pictures. <coughs> Lonnie wants one of them pictures of her so bad and mm -hmm. I can't get Peggy to fix them. Peggy won't fix nothing like that. She stays in that mess all the time. <laughs> Wait, Mama. <laughs> I didn't know you said that. I don't know whether she likes to or not, but she messes with pictures in the old mm -hmm. time of Andrew. Yeah. And, uh, oh, damn. Yeah, because I've seen, uh, I think your your mom looked like she had Indian blood in her. Oh, she did? Yeah. yeah. And you've got them little high cheekbones, too. Yeah. Yeah. I know you do, too. Uh, not really. You do. Aunt May, she wouldn't tell nobody that she, uh, her grandmother was a pure black bread Indian. She said, I don't want nobody to know I'm half Indian. I said, my gosh, I'm proud of it. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, I don't know why she didn't like it. Hey, you kill me, you'll have to get rid of that. <laughs> Going in that and sitting down for hours and playing the uh, rumbi, a rumbi, saltet. Yeah, saltet. Mm.